What Bean. were your thoughts of the scrimmage today? I, uh, it was good and bad at times. You know, and it was good for the first time in the scrimmage. You know, coaches in the box, guys out on the field truly by themselves. And um, we uh, started in the indoor and did our walkthrough and did some um, uh, individual. And then I brought them down and we did the thunder shoot for the first time and kind of got them hyped, trying to make them feel like a game atmosphere. Uh, so that, that thing worked good and it was exciting. Then we came out here, some guys made some plays and we um, got some uh, Im improving to do. But I thought overall, you know, it's always there's always plus and negatives in scrimmages on both sides. Um, but I thought they, they gave good effort and we definitely stayed healthy during the whole scrimmage, which is good. Any particular players or units you felt kind of stood out today? Oh, I'll have to go watch the film um, and, and look at it. You know, we had some guys on defense and offense make some big plays, and sometimes, you know, go look at that. We worked on a field goal. It was hard today in our, in our punt protection, so we'll go look at all that. But, um, there was a few guys that made plays, but I'll go see if it was a busted coverage or if it was, you know, see how the plays were made, but they, they did some good things. They now get a break for a couple of weeks for, for the break, uh, for spring yeah, break. Yeah, not a couple of weeks. They get like one week. Yeah, about 10 days until yeah, you guys no. come back. But did you get – did you see what you wanted to see out of the first half of the spring football? Yeah, we got everything installed. We got everything on – basically almost everything in on offense, everything on defense. Uh, so everything's installed. We got all that in. So the first week or so, first seven practices, you try to get everything in. Now when we come back, we'll just start back in day one, but you'll have everything in ready to go. And then we can review everything, look at the fundamental things that we need to improve. And then, um, you know, we'll move some people around too probably um, after we grade the – Great the scrimmage again today and, and look at how that works. Shea Fields, uh, we'll talk about what he's done this spring and how he's progressed. Yeah, the, the last uh, two uh, scrimmages type things, he's made some big plays and showed his big playability, which has been good to see. And, uh, you know, he's kind of back off that ankle. You know, that he was rolling strong and got that ankle in the Arizona game and they kind of set him back a little bit at the end of the year. But he's done well uh, here the last couple, last couple of scrimmages. He's done really well. You guys are bringing in a lot of receivers this year. Uh -huh. Are you seeing that being a motivating factor for Shea? You know, to realize he's got to pick up his game too. Um, well, I, you know, Shea's always motivated. Shea's very confident. Big play Shea, I call him. And uh, so he'll 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 rise the occasion and keep working. But you know, you're a good football team. We can look over your left shoulder and that guy can beat you out. And you can look over your right shoulder and that guy can beat you out. And we're starting to get to that point where we have that much depth and we have guys that have played a lot too that have done that. So um, that gives uh, and, and the guys coming in, they're good players. And a, that a, everybody will push the better competition, the better team you are. With the new wrinkles that you've got on offense, is the offense catching on today? Is it a little bit behind the defense at this point, or where does uh, that stand? No, the offense usually in spring practice is a little bit behind the defense, and then the defense has been uh, doing all the same thing. And plus, you know, we got young quarterbacks out there running it and doing it, and they've had some great plays and had some tough plays. So I think it's a, just a process of getting everything moving together the same, um, and they'll 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 make a, a big jump the second half of spring. They always Mont do. Offense always does. Montez made the strides through seven practices yeah. that you were looking yeah. for. Yeah, he did, and he um, he had some really good moments today too. Had a couple tough moments, but he had some really good moments. So yeah. more he plays, more he gets comfortable, the more he sees things better. With all the upperclassmen, you've talked about the efficiency of practice improving. Does that does that signal that the foundation has been laid, and you start yes. to build up from here? Yeah, no doubt. And they they set the standard, and they keep going. And you know, this is probably the longest scrimmage we've ever had. We've got a ton of plays in, did a lot of different we had every situation done and uh, that's a credit to them and the, and the physical nature of our team we're not getting people hurt right and left they're stronger and more powerful and that's good how steady has Ricky and Boa been with all the injuries you've had against the yeah, linebacker? Yeah, Rick's just steady Eddie. You know, he, he's done really well. Had, a, had some nice tackles today and did some good plays. And um, we're trying not to get him in there too much because he, you know, but he's having to play quite a bit with it. But we're trying to make sure we limit that as much as we can so he doesn't take every snap. With the report that came out on Monday, can you talk about Blake Robbins and his status? I said my statement in the paper. Yeah. Anything else, Coach? All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.